Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to be reviewing the OtterBox Defender case for your iPhone 4. This case is made in three parts, and those three parts assemble into what you see here. This case is very durable. It's made for those people that may be a little more rough than the average user with their iPhone, whether that means you're more active and you go skiing or skateboarding, or you're in the military, or you work in industrial situations. This should keep your phone safe for just about anything but in a waterproof situation. The case itself is not waterproof, but it is very durable with this outside shock layer. This is a rubber case that surrounds the polycarbonate case within. The case itself has a front screen protector built into the case and as you can see this kind of fits over the lip here and it stays in place just like that. Now the front case has polycarbonate which does not allow for bubbles underneath the screen. They've made it kind of a textured material so that doesn't happen on the underside. That allows your phone to work just fine. You can scroll with no problem. And as you can see, it seems to work just fine. Go ahead and lock that. In here, what you can see is the forward facing camera. You have your earpiece for the speaker when you're listening to your phone calls. And here you have your proximity sensor within the top there. On the bottom, we have the button. This is kind of built into the case. On the bottom of the case, you have your speaker and microphone, along with a flap that protects the dock connector. This fits just about every dock connector. However, fitting it into a dock itself may be a bit of a challenge. On the back of the case, you can see it leaves the Apple exposed, as well as the camera and flash. This bottom flap seems to have a bit of a problem staying in place, but once you get it in there, it doesn't seem to come out too easily. On the top, we have our sleep-wake button. We have our external speaker, microphone rather, that picks up sound and eliminates ambient noise. If we flip this open, what we get is your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so that you can listen to music via that. We can close it here. On this side, there isn't anything. On this side, we have our volume up and down switch as well as a flap hiding our vibrate silent switch. Now as you saw before the case comes in three parts. Let's go ahead and take it apart here so that you can see this on camera as well. You can see that this is a separate piece. Once I take it away from this case it works well and it's locked in place. You have these little snaps here that you actually have to pop back a little bit. It's easier to start from the side and unsnap them just like that. And once they unsnap, you can see it's very secure. Once they unsnap, the back comes off, and it has a protective velvet microfiber feeling lining to it that keeps it safe. The window for the Apple logo is also protected with a piece of plastic here as well. Let's go ahead and take the iPhone out. Now one thing that I found is nice, I actually have a skin on my iPhone and it seems to fit still although it does make it a little bit difficult to get out. There we go. When we want to use our phone in extreme situations, we simply slide it back into the case and pop it down in, and again, reassemble it like so. The OtterBox Defender is a great case, but it does have some disadvantages as well. One of those would be the thickness of the case. The case is quite thick and adds a decent amount of bulk to the phone. I've taken the iPhone out of the case to show you the difference, and as you can see, it's significantly thicker, almost double the thickness, or probably is double the thickness of the original iPhone 4 as it stands by itself. Now, that said, it does offer a significant amount of protection while the iPhone is inside the case, and that's why I would suggest it more on a per case use basis, meaning use it like this, and then with a skin or a bumper or whatever, and then when you want to use it in extreme situations, put it in your outer box and it, you know it will be well protected. I've seen a demonstration done at an AT&T store where one of the AT&T employees suggested buying an outer box to one of the people purchasing an iPhone. This was back in the 3GS days. They actually took their phone and threw it over the counter into the mall and let it land on the floor, picked it up, and showed them it worked. Apparently they did this quite a bit and didn't have any problems. I wouldn't suggest that to any of you to try, but the phone seemed to work just fine after that. The other disadvantage would be this front screen. You're going to get 
a little bit different feel than you would from the front of the iPhone. It's not terrible, but a lot of you use screen protectors anyway, and that's kind of what it feels like. So it's not that big of a deal, and they've done a really nice job of keeping the bubbles out from underneath it. Other than that, the OtterBox Defender is really a nice case, and is definitely something I would recommend if you're looking for a very durable, very rugged case that's going to protect your iPhone against shock and all sorts of other situations where you might scuff it up or potentially harm it just from your work or everyday activities. Other than what I've already mentioned, I think it's a great case. I would recommend it and definitely check it out if you're looking for that sort of extreme use. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll try and answer those the best I can. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.